Hey guys, Serena here. So, this video is all about this awesome book, Time Travel History, Fashion Dreams. Um, I get questions about this one a lot just because it's such a cool topic. It's just, it's a fun way of learning history and sometimes people wonder how you're going to get a really good history uh, core with a book like this. So first and foremost, something like this would not be the only thing we have for history. Um, it's a segue. That's what I call this, a segue. So basically what that means is this is an opening, an entrance to history. This is what opens the door. So think of it as if you really, really want your kids to do something and you, it's brand new to them, or perhaps it's something they don't really like to do, if you approach it as a fun kind of a thing and show it in a different way, they're gonna be more likely to jump on board with you. Whereas if you just hand them a history book and be like, read, if history is not their thing, they might balk at that. This is a nice segue. So this opens up history in a really interesting way and utilizes something, in this case, fashion, that is very popular as a means to learn about history. Very cool. So basically how this book works is you're going to start in the 1800s and you're gonna go all the way into the future, into the 2030s. And so starting at eight, in the 1800s, you're going to learn about the type of clothing that they wore back in that time. So this is how it looks as we start. It says watch a movie or read a book that took place between the 1800s and 1810. Design a fancy gown in that style design an outfit, write about a major event that happened during this decade. So you see, you're taking fashion as the entry point, and then when you're getting into this page, now we're talking about non-fashion, we're just talking about a major event from that time period. So whereas if you were to just give your child a book and say, read about this thing that happened in the 1800s, Okay, they may not want to, but if you give them the fashion to start with and then they look into it, they're more likely to want to do it. See, now you know why I'm calling it a segue. And then you continue, it says design a wedding dress, we're still in the 1800s, and then draw a first lady's inaugural ball, ground, ball gown from this era. Now as a Canadian, we don't really have a focus on the first ladies like uh, we find in the States. So what I would use this page for, or what we are actually using this page for in September, is for whatever we want. So it's a blank space to design something. So whether my daughter wants to design a different outfit that she hasn't already done, uh, if she wants to design uh, something that has to do for us, we have the queen. So maybe she can draw what a queen's gown would have looked like from the 1800s. Something to that effect is probably the way we're going to go with this. But we're going to have a lot more freedom with this page just because, like I said, we don't have a fixation on first ladies uh, like you find in the States. And in other countries so this will be likely a segue for us to get into the royal family okay from there concept designs and sketches two pages for that and then we move on to 1810 so every single decade is the same okay into the 1850s 1880s just gonna blow through here 1910 gives you some ideas see and then all the way through Okay, now we're in the 2000s, all the way up into the 2030s. Okay, there's a little extra stuff here, traditional Asian clothing, California style, active wear, a hippie wedding dress, boho wedding dress, vintage, traditional African clothing, farm girl, beach dress, princess dress, prom dress, and it's in the my style category. 
So this is going to give you an open door to learning more about history and all sorts of fun things from history and not so fun things from history. Because as you watch movies from this time period, as it states in there, you know, watch a movie, a documentary, read a book, those books are going to have so much more information about history in them. So though they're learning about the clothing, they're also going to take in that rest of the information. So in this family, a book like this goes with a book like this. And this is world history. This is a picture book from Usborn. And this has all sorts of information in it. And it also shows what people wore. And there's other books that you can get that show uh, clothing through the ages that can easily be paired with a book like this as information, as uh, investigation and study, that kind of thing. And there's also a lot of YouTube channels that you can watch. And of course, I mean, Netflix usually has tons of documentaries and older movies as well. So you've got a whole smorgasbord of stuff that you can utilize with this book. And this is really good for... A variety, a variety of ages. I mean, my daughter's 10. She can handle this just fine. Um, my youngest is six. She couldn't handle this. She could draw in this and have a lot of fun creating that. But as far as the research side, it's a little over her head. But she's going to be doing it along with her big sister. And she'll be getting a little bit of information. And then when she gets into, say, grade three, she'll get her own. Okay? And this is something that you could do again and again and again. Like you could get one book and then you could be com complete that book and then you could get another empty book and use it again because you're always going to create new things. So don't think that, oh, well, if they use it in grade six, then they can't use it in grade nine. Yes, they can because they're going to design better things. They're going to design the new things. They can read different books. They can watch different documentaries. There's just no limit on that. Okay, so check out www.funschoolingbooks.com to see more of the wonderful selection of books from The Thinking Tree. Thank you for watching.